Good afternoon. We want to talk to you today about something that we feel is of great importance and that we would really like to have you grasp an understanding of because we think that you, life will begin to make a little bit more sense to you as you get the concept we are about to give you, you see. We want you to really understand uh, these lessons, these things that are occurring in your life that are causing you to feel in certain ways. And we have talked to you about mastery, about the uh, availability that you have to decide to choose as a master how you're going to feel. Uh, by transmuting the energy of something that you are not liking the feel of. And so we are just bringing you up to date a little bit with that uh, portion so that you can kind of keep that in the back of your mind as we talk to you today about what it is we are going to talk to you about, you see. What is the topic today? We want you to understand that these ones that come into your life to aggravate you, uh, these situations that you are encountering over and over again, are coming so that you may heal them. And in the healing of them, you will rise in your consciousness. And when your consciousness rises and you take yourself everywhere you go, then anyone that is experiencing or feeling anything like what it is you have transcended will uh, be able to receive that level of consciousness or that resonance that you now hold because of it, you see. So what we just said to you was, we'll give you another example. If you have lost someone, for example, and you are in a state of grief, and then you make a clear decision to decide to move out of that grief, to be the master and decide to choose that life is worth living and that you're going to transcend that pain that you are in, you are now a beacon of light to all of those that are suffering the losses that they are suffering. And when you are making your way through the world and you are entering into the uh, uh, fields, energy fields of others, you're carrying that resonance now. You have healed that wound in you, which is now transferable to all those that are experiencing the same wound or the same resonance that you are in. So now you can really get the idea of the importance of what we are teaching in becoming a master. Because what you are doing is you are causing a, a shift in the uh, earth plane, yes, in the way that you feel. And as you do it, you gain this resonance that you bring out with you into the world. And as people come into contact with you, that is a catching or a spreading resonance. We hope that we have explained that uh, clearly to you. And we're going to try to give you a few more examples because it is important for you to know that when we say get the lesson that you're meant to get, this is what we are uh, trying to get to you. That if you can become this master, that you actually raise your consciousness and your vibratory level is risen because of the way that you are choosing to feel the experience. And in that choosing, you elevate your resonance and you make that resonance available to all of the others that are upon this plane. And this is how the earth is going to come into this balance. It's how it's going to stop being in separation. Because when you feel terrible about something and you hold that resonance, that separates you from your source. But when you feel good about something and you align in your resonance, that aligns you with your source. Now, not just you. So now you start to understand the importance of every single human living their life as they are living it and the importance of it and the offering that they are making because of it. We want you to look at these experiences, these ones that are in your life that perhaps you've taken a dislike to or that you wish would go away or even a circumstance or situation that you are faced with that you are not liking. And know that as you transcend that pain, as you transcend that energy and match the energy of all that is, you become that. That's your emanation now. That's your point of attraction. And so all of those that you come into contact with will be able to draw from that or feel from that or heal from that, you see. We think it's important that you really get this concept. You're not floundering around down here uh, doing meaningless things. You're finding your way back to yourself. And it's why that you are having the experiences you are having with certain people, because it makes you go inward. It causes you to examine yourself. And in this examination of yourself, you have a decision to make. How will I choose? Will I choose to become the human and be victimized by the experience I am in? Or will I choose mastery and heal that experience for mankind and all that is? This is the choice that you have. Doesn't it make you feel important? Doesn't it make you feel as though you matter? We think it does. It's why we're bringing it to your attention. Everything you're doing here matters. Everything you're contributing 
is rising consciousness. And as consciousness rises, you will become more and more aligned to your source. You see? You think it's important that you love your wife, that you love your brother, that you love your sister, that you love your children, but you don't think it's so important that you love yourself. And that's the most important uh, one in your life. Because when you love yourself, you recognize the God within you. You recognize who you are, what you are, that you are worthy, that you are contributing. And in this love of self, this is the enlightenment. This is what you are asking and calling for. Enlightenment is a rising of consciousness. And the love of self is the key that does this for you. Good day.